In America, everybody drinks water with uh, three-fourths of the tumbler being full with ice cubes. Now what I say <laughs> will be unpopular. You drink water only within four degrees variation upwardly and downward. In America, everybody drinks water with uh, three-fourths of the tumbler being full with ice cubes. Now what I say <laughs> now will be unpopular. When in the yogic culture, if you are a yogi, if you are on the path of the inner transformation, you want to transform your system to another dimension of possibility, then you drink water only which is within four degrees variation upwardly and downward. That is, your normal body temperature is somewhere around uh, 36 degrees centigrade. So you can drink up to 40 degrees or 32 degrees. This is the best way to consume. If you are a student, that is, you want to absorb knowledge, you are not looking for transformation you're only interested in absorbing knowledge, then you must drink within eight degrees variation. That is, you can drink up to forty-four degrees and twenty-eight degrees. If you are a householder who is not interested in any transformation or learning, you just want to manage your wife and children and husband, that's all your thing is, then you can drink up to twelve degrees variation from both sides. Beyond that is not considered conducive for anybody. So that's an unpopular thing to say, but it's important that whatever you consume is somewhere in the range of the body temperature, not too far away from that because it will disturb the way the water within the system behaves by consuming water or any substance which is very, very far away from the body temperature. I know the ice cream loving people and will ice cream at me now. I'm just telling you the ideal conditions. <laughs> How many of you want to live in the ideal range or being conscious of it wherever possible, staying there is a good thing to do. If you don't feel thirsty, if you don't drink water, nothing is going to happen, you're going to be fine. It's only in America you will die if you don't drink water. And nowhere else people simply drink water. When they get thirsty, they drink water, otherwise they're fine, even in a desert. <laughs> it's only in America, in cold climate, everybody's carrying a bottle and sipping continuously because uh, the marketing machines have done this to them, that they must drink lots of water, excessive consumption of water, especially if it's done in small sips. Body absorbs, when it absorbs the sodium levels, which are very uh, delicately balanced will drop. The rest of the body also is affected but may not be noticeable, but in the brain, sodium levels dropping will lead to swelling of the brain. This does not mean your brain is growing. Swelling means it's a kind of sickness, okay? Not expansion of the brain, it's swelling up because of lack of sodium content. So because there's not enough sodium, more water goes into the brain trying to supply the required sodium to keep the balance. So more water in your brain means you will slosh. Psychological imbalances will come. See, if you drink lots of water at one go, body will decide how much to absorb, how much to throw out. But if you keep sipping through the day, body kind of gets deceived and tends to absorb more water than it should. But let's say right now you drink two liters of water, all of it is not going to go into the system. What is needed, it will take, rest of it will be shunted out. Nobody need to drink water simply because you think it's a good thing to do. When you feel thirsty, you must drink water. Just to ensure you're drinking enough, drink ten percent more than what you actually need, a couple of cups more, just to ensure that you don't drink less. You have a certain amount of time before you can drink that it's not an emergency.
At the same time, when you need water, when you're thirsty if you don't drink, it'll cause damage to the system. The damage to the heart is immense when the water that is needed is not there in the system. But when I say water, it is not just about drinking liquid water. You must eat high water content foods. If you eat a fruit, it's nearly ninety percent water. Vegetables and other things are over seventy percent water. When you consume food, at least it must be level with the percentage of water content in your own body. So any food that you eat should be at least seventy percent uh, water content. So this is why vegetables, fruits must be part of your diet so that it is there.